And I think the greatest threat and the greatest concern, certainly for the royals, is the forthcoming autobiography. The autobiography by Prince Harry, um, which has of course caused a lot of consternation in royal circles, a lot of concern amongst senior royal sources and, and palace aides, because quite simply they don't know what to expect. There's a lot of rumours that Prince Harry is making possibly last minute edits to the book. Is that due to the Queen's death? Well, the, the Queen's death, and also in light of the Queen's death, the sensitivity perhaps of some of the passages that he's written about. Um, so the autobiography has been shrouded in secrecy, and I think it is a case of belts and braces and the palace really preparing themselves for what's to come, because Harry has taken a $35 million advance. The chances of him handing that back and saying, actually, I'm not going to do this book after all, I think that's highly unlikely. Yeah, and 35 million dollars, I would think that kind of money talks and they would want Harry to talk specifics about the royals and given that sum of money, right? Yeah, I think I think you're absolutely right. When you're having that sort of an advance, that's not going to be for Harry talking about his philanthropic work. Right. That's going to be the inside story of being born the spare, what it entailed. I mean, I've sat down with, with Harry before and he said to me, you know, there are many times I wish I wasn't born a prince. It was very apparent to me early on that he actually wanted a way out. You know, the, the vision of the palace for him to be William's sidekick, his wingman all these years, actually perhaps wasn't always Harry's vision. And I think it's, you know, Meghan's been blamed for the rift at the heart of Windsor and for Megxit. Mm. But actually, you know, was she just the catalyst that Harry needed to get out? I think we're going to see him shed a lot of light on why he left in this new book. Interesting, I cannot wait for that read, for sure.